everyone knows who the Flying Scotsman is. Only the most famous steam engine in the world, but almost everyone calls him Scott. When he's not busy traveling along the main line or other heritage railways, he visits the Midland and Great Western Railway as a part of the contract signed by his owner and Mr. Pilkington when he was the manager. Although he's a celebrity, he is somewhat cocky and pompous and usually finds something to brag about, this being himself most of the time. The engines didn't mind it at first, but by this point they were fed up with flying Scotsman's endless bragging. One day Carlson was about to depart for his freight service when Flying Scotsman pulled up alongside him on the other platform. Dear, oh dear, you called yourself a mixed traffic engine? Well, I was assigned to pull this train to Somerville. I pull coaches too. I don't see you pulling good trains around here. <laughs> well, Carlson, my boy, you must understand. Engines like me were built to pull sophisticated trains, not measly goods trains like yourself. I was designed to gallivant up the line non-stop London to Edinburgh, where even so Scottish as decide to give me a cheer and a whistle. Why, one of my brothers, Royal Lancer, said that I was the pride of Doncaster. Until Mallard showed up. But then again, we are both famous engines in our own right. He was able to do 126, I was able to do 100. But there's still no city of Trula rumours. That's something that still has to be proven, yes. Must be off. Ta ta! Pop his prick. The next day, Flying Scotsman was slow to start. His fire had gone out and it took ages for him to build up pressure once he had a new one put in. Mr. George wants to pull us a special train today. No. Is it coaches or trucks? Trucks. Trucks! No, I won't go! You will! No, I refuse! I'm telling you, CJ, I should pull a good train. I'm an express passenger engine. It's disgraceful. Whatever, Scott. Hello, Scott. Are you pulling a good train? I thought engines like you were built upon sophisticated trains. <laughs> <laughs> The trucks decided to carry out their devious plan when the flying Scotsman approached a steep gradient between Dunfield and Stinch. Come on! Come on! I just want to get this over with so I can start pulling coaches again. As he reached the top, the trucks carried out their plan. Easy does it, Scott. But it was too late. Before he knew it, flying Scotsman was traveling at a dangerous speed.
The signalman at Dunfield heard what was going on and changed the points and set the signals to danger. Martin was there for his commuter service. Uh oh, Fred means danger. What's going on, driver? Has there been an accident? I don't know. I'll ask the signalman. He walked into the signalman's box and then came running back with a worried expression on his face. Martin, there's a runaway and we're directly in his path. Oh no! Many people are going to die or become injured. We have to do something. Oh no! Martin, get out of my way! I can't move! There's not enough time! Fine, Scotsman's driver fully applied the brakes and everyone braced for impact. But... <sighs> Just in time. You almost killed everyone! What's wrong with you, you twat? I'm sorry, Martin, but... Those bloody trucks caused me to go fast down the grade at Stinchcombe Summit and over on the speed limit. I am truly sorry. Aye, those trucks are a handful. You'll get used to them, I'm sure. Are you joking? Absolutely not! I'm not going to pull another goods train ever again! Flying Scotsman was redirected onto his correct line, and both engines continued on their merry way. Flying Scotsman didn't think Martin's comment earlier was funny at all and took it very seriously. But we do know that Martin was joking. Don't we?